right, what's up, dudes? Yeah. Welcome, welcome to TVV TV. This is our interactive podcast where we talk about games, content creation, uh, how bad our internet is, and informative topics. <laughs> this week we're gonna chill, hang out, and talk about some video games. Um, yeah, we're talking about like E3. Yeah, we're talking E3, about E3, but we want to hear about your about. California experience. Yeah, we, yeah, do. we do, Mike. My California experience. Yeah. Cal- your California cation. Dead. I was... gotta kick it off with that. Well, I mean, obviously, everybody wants to hear about the fact that I literally got off the plane and met TSM. So is it the full team? Oh, it's the full team. That's so... Dude, so do you know, do you know, have you ever been to California? Yeah. Okay, so have you ever been to the observatory? Is that in LA? Well, it's a little bit outside of LA, but yeah, basically. Okay. It, it like, of... overlooks LA. Okay, yeah, no, I wasn't in LA. I was in Pasadena <laughs> at the time. So my my aunt lives in uh, Venice or Marina del Rey, which is like part of Venice, and right. um, it's like and that's basically part of LA. It's like right on the water. Mm-hmm. And um, I get there, and she's like, "This is the day of the podcast," and uh, she's like, "Oh yeah, so we're planning on bringing you to Hollywood today. It's probably gonna be like all day. We're not gonna get back to like seven. And I had to be on for five o'clock to be on the podcast, and I was like, "Oh shit." Like, I'm not going to be able to, I was like, and she was like, we can cancel. We don't have to go. But then I was like, well, she hasn't seen me in like a year. Yeah. Right. And she like planned this entire day around it. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. I can just, I can just cancel being on the podcast. Let's just go into Hollywood. And she's like, okay, so the first place we're going is this, the observatory. And we're going to take you down Hollywood. I was like, all right, cool. So, you know, I'm just like, whatever. I'm going to miss the podcast. I was like, kind of bummed about it. I was like, kind of internally freaking out too. It was giving me anxiety about the fact that I was missing like our only content that we actually put out like as together so i was like fuck um and i get out of the car you bought a laptop for it too oh i bought a laptop i bought a laptop in chicago specifically because i was like i'm not missing the stream i'm i refuse to miss it maybe you could have done it with your phone Uh, yeah i could have done it with my phone i also needed a laptop and that like laptop spec was like way too uh, you just anyways. wanted to play league while you were in <laughs> that is, i also really badly wanted to play league when i was in chicago i had like eight ping dude it was like oh it was so good <laughs> dude, i feel that i feel that actually you want to know like what it feels like the internet to just like kind of like gently grasp like around you like cuddle you as you're like playing league of legends that's what it's like with eight ping. what's it's your like, ping usually it's like 40 really, really? Yeah. yeah i have like 40 we, ping. we, we usually play on like 23, 23 ping, ping. Yeah, well, I'm you guys live like closer 30. to Chicago. Yeah, it's really good. But I'm I mean, in norm- like 30, yeah. I have like fiber optic connection in Boston, so like that's like probably like the best connection I can have. It's like 40 ping. Mostly, most people yeah. have like 60. Yeah, if not more. Um, but anyways, yeah, we used know, to have 60 ping before they moved the servers. To Chicago have to do with anything? What do you mean? You said that we're closer to Chicago. Yeah, so Chicago's with the servers. The, ser- the servers in Chicago. That's why I had eight ping. The League of Legends servers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. that's pretty dope um <clears throat> that's why you guys have such low ping as opposed yeah to, i didn't i didn't know that i always thought that i always to be honest i really thought that like league of legends was like a uh <clears throat> like an asian like region type game and then it just kind of like got brought over to like the u.s i didn't know that it like originated it started here. in la did it yeah, okay the server was originally in la and then they moved it to chicago yeah that was we great have, like 100 we said like 100 ping we had 70 yeah, yeah. We, had, we had 60 to 70 ping here oh um that's crazy yeah i always thought that i always thought that it was something that was like maybe not like started over there but like at at least based over there because i feel like a lot of like i mean i feel like league of legends asia has a lot more users and a lot more i don't know like competitive people uh, compared to us koreans i don't know know what the actual numbers are (laughs) Uh, i I wonder yeah yeah look it up real quick but uh, you want me to look up the anyway anyway yeah while you look it up mike continue continue your story Okay, um, yeah, so, where was I? Oh, yeah, so they brought me to the observatory in, in L.A., and I'm, like, all, like, bummed out, and it's really rainy and, and muggy, and I'm, like, all right, whatever. Like, um, I get out of the car, and, like, I walk probably, like, 50 feet towards, like, the actual side of the observatory where it overlooks L.A., and I walk past, um, I walk past this guy who I recognize, and I'm, like, oh, I recognize that guy from somewhere, and it's, it's Weldon who's the head coach of TSM. And I didn't even recognize it until like, it took me like 15 seconds. And I was like, oh shit, that's Weldon. And then right behind him is Bjergsen. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can only imagine. That, I'm like, is that, 
is that and then Hanser walks behind him and then Sven and then Mithy and, and then, then Mike Young and I'm by then like, Mike already needed like, 12 uh, new pairs of pants I'm like oh my god he did need a new pair of um, pants he definitely like, did like oh god and my aunt and her uh her boyfriend um they were like they were like what's wrong like what's going on I'm like I'm like I, I know those guys they're like <laughs> 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 like from, from from college uh like you know them as friends and i'm like no no i i, I know them <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like i can't even talk Dude, and, so here's uh, a, okay continue I, yeah. I i found it i found the statistics it's pretty crazy it's not what you think it would be what is it all right so uh, all right number one <laughs> at 24.9 percent who do you guys think is is the biggest district dis like biggest region of League of Legends? LPL, China, no nope. like LPL, no, dude. I'm honestly gonna guess Brazil. NA. I'm honestly gonna guess NA. Nope. I don't. Korea. <laughs> no, Korea is at second though, at with twenty three point five percent. Just tell me. Western Europe, really? Twenty four point nine percent of the League of Legends players. Mm. North America only makes up. So it goes Europe West with 24.9%, Korea with 23.5%, Europe, Nordic, and East making up 13.6%. Damn. And North America. Wow. Players? Yeah, this is distri distribution of League of Legends players worldwide. That's and wow. North America makes up 10.8%. Brazil makes up 9.1%. Wow. Damn, Daniel. The lowest is Japan with making up 0.71% of League of Legends players. Wow. It's gotta be like the easiest region to hit challenger, dude. You probably gotta sneeze and then you hit challenger, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that or it's super competitive because there's such a small amount of people playing there. Oh, that's true. There could be All that. Super good fucking people that play there. Apparently, it's really easy to hit diamond and like master and tier and challenger inside of uh, the LAN, the Latin America server. Oh, really? Yeah. Just, and just we only have like there? 100 ping from here. Yeah. Well, no, it's just it's just. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's just like a easier server. It's it's newer. Like I haven't played the game as much, so you can oh, hard okay. carry kids like sure. way easier. Right. Most of League of Legends players that play like competitively are mostly ranked in bronze. Overwatch, it's silver that mostly people are ranked in. What do you mean? Like, so the majority of players of like let's say League of Legends, for instance, the majority of people that play competitively make up bronze, like bronze five through one. The like. The majority of, of ranked, ranked players like, oh yeah, so like, ranked players so like so like you know it may be like out of a pie of 100 percent, but bronze takes up like 55 percent of it type shit and then it goes oh yeah dude. in league of legends like, it's up to like gold that's like 70 percent of the player base gold five, yeah i think so like up to silver one like 70 percent of the player base in na is below gold one uh, gold five yeah, Overwatch is the same way, except it's mostly people are mostly based in silver rather when than When you hit bronze. when you dude, when you hit like gold two, that's dude, crazy. you become you become below the top ten percent in the game. It's like fucking insane. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Like when I was ranked, I was ranked gold one last season, and I was like the top eight percent, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? That's insane. Jeez, I would like to know that statistic with PUBG because for a while I was ranked like top four percent in North America for first person servers. So I would like to know, like, what that statistic is. Like, what am I really sitting up at, you know? Like, what's that number? Um, like, out yeah, of how many? It would be really interesting to figure that out. I'm, def I'm definitely a top top one. I'm, I'm the number one Fortnite player. Oh, yeah, dude. No, of course. Eric's, Eric's so fucking good at Fortnite. The most wrong thing I've heard all evening, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is Ninja, bro? Everybody knows who TBB Burger is. Obviously. Soft. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I freaking my well, back to the story, bro. Cause... We even lost Katie. Come on. Yeah, no, That's Katie. Katie bounced out. She, she was just like, out. "Oh, I'm I'm out of here." Technical difficulties. Fuck, fuck these guys. Um, yeah. So Chain a real I, one. We don't need I, I fucking I was like freaking out, and my aunt and uncle were like, "Oh, just go and ask them for a picture." I was like, "What are you insane? I can't do that. I can't ask them for a picture. They're not human beings." Do you know who the fuck these people are? Like I, it was. It, I was acting like I was meeting like Tom Brady or something. Like it was, it was, it was so crazy. And like, then so Sven is the Tom Brady of League of Legends. Like, oh, basically, that's a fair comparison. That's a yeah. fair comparison, dude. It, oh, dude, it was so weird. So, but they they started walking down the place, and I was like, oh, I'm, I was like, you know, it would be cool. Uh, I'll just tell Eric and everybody, like, dude, I would have roasted you. 
Yeah, if yeah, I if I just saw them. Gotten a hundred percent all of the shit that I could. Oh, cause get. I, I texted Aaron right when it happened. I was like, dude, I just saw TSM. And Aaron was like, Oh, sick, dude. That's awesome. No way. And then, <laughs> like 10 minutes later, I was because I was talking to them and I was like, Oh, I can't go over and talk to them. And then the universe basically like shoved them back in my face. They walked back towards me. And they were just had- five, they were just five feet away from me, just taking pictures with their their uh the thing and i was like all right i mean it, my aunt was like you literally have to you i like i'll take the picture we're going over there right now you like took my phone like, hell I yeah like, Come on, man. i was like i was so i was so and so you're just a that. pussy yeah you basically are. i'm a little bitch so Big i went thing. over i went over and i was like uh excuse me guys I, I don't mean to bother you but like i'm a huge fan of tsm blah 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 <laughs> Do you mind? Yeah, can you throw <laughs> individually each of you, you like, one by one, just like back there? League of Legends players, I love you guys so much. I didn't sound like that. I just sounded like a normal person because I I knew they were out and doing their own thing, so I just like looked them out. I was like, listen, like, can I just get a quick picture? Like, I'm from Boston. This is insane. And they were like, oh yeah, for sure, man. They were super nice. They were so enthusiastic, like not expecting to run into like real I, humans. I real humans. You know? I don't know if that happens to them as much as like a regular per- like a regular celebrity would well, outside yeah. of the LCS, you know, because you know how they do the pictures out uh, after the LCS. Did I guarantee it, mm-hmm. dude? If it I was... saw <clears throat> if I saw a cutie pie out in public, shit in my pants, bro. I would a notice him right away. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so I would run, run right, right up to him. I would run up there and just be like, "All right, I don't have a pillow, but." let's get to it I'm like come on now Whoa. teach me your ways like <laughs> teach me your slurp. ways how to make the challenger like let me know yeah dude here's the here's the he's gonna tell you just play, play for eight to 12 hours a day that's what he's gonna tell you yeah for real uh, dude i, I straight up like if i saw cutie pie in public dude i would fucking yo change my imagine face. imagine i know mike i know how mike so, feels so about sick, this dude. imagine playing so, so 12 hours of league every single day dude, it'd be horrible It'd be horrible dude that, that, that's yeah, what i don't mean, understand well, it's like you kind of gotta just... you gotta think like if if you're a professional it and that's like literally the only thing you have to do it wouldn't be that bad like honestly i don't think so i mean to an extent like i just don't understand how dude. somebody can like sit there and play not not just for eight to twelve hours like that's pretty crazy mm-hmm. but for eight to twelve hours every single day like mm-hmm. straight like mike used to do that he streams he streams yeah. five days out of the, like five days out of seven days yeah and he's only streams league i've only seen this dude play another game like once or twice and it's usually when he's in queue at yeah. 7 a.m for another game and he's got to wait 30 minutes for a game how do you think i got so good at the game dude i just literally just injected yeah. like 13 hours of league time into my life for, <laughs> for like a every year. day yeah and yet you're still uh gold yeah, dude. It's so, it's dude so I started bronze five on like, Mike. <laughs> okay. Mike has I'm more games five. played than us than like Are all three actually? of us combined. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't. I don't ever play ranked like ever. Mm. I, just I was. Draft. I was one game away from gold last year. And that's when I stopped playing. That's really stupid of you, dude. Yeah, no. I could be like. I was two games away from play like, one more game. Eric, did you hear who's back in meta? I was almost in plat. Yeah, don't even. <laughs> you heard who's back in meta your boy uh, lucian oh Lucian's dude. like the strongest adc right now yeah he's so strong actually can, can, no matter no matter how this goes down we should we should run a run a league game after this to be to be quite honest because because now mitch and eric get the little thing you're just like Ugh. eric i'll support you with you like no, he definitely wants me on that bard. If he's gonna play, oh, Lucian you can game. play. You can play support. That's fine. Look at, look at him. Look at him. He's Eric, like, God damn it, Lucian, bro. He's like, damn oh, it, dude. Bird, my, little black, my little black friend is calling me back to the, calling me back to the summoners. Everybody dude. dies. Some just, <laughs> so just, just need a little help. So bad, bro. I fuck so hard on Lucian. Oh, yeah, Tweety Lucian wants to. Super strong. All right, Tweety, I'm gonna teach you. All right, these Dude, are the Tweety, three basic rules. Oh, bro, yeah, Tweety, three down basic rules right now, you're League getting of Legends. After this. Listen, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you right here, okay? There's three steps to be able to be a good League of Legends player, okay? Number one, play AD carry. Number two. <laughs> Not true number at two, all. Number two. No, nah, play top lane, Tweety. Let me finish, all no, right? No, dude, play top lane sucks carry. ass. Number one, play AD carry. Number two, blame Riot 
I don't think you know how hard sucks. AD carry is. True. True. And number three, blame your jungler if you get ganked four times. All right. Oh, also true. Go. Even if you don't get ganked, just blame your jungler. Yeah, blame jungler. Even if you even if you don't have any deaths, just be like game loss jungler. Sucks. Bot lane is by true. far the hardest. If you're winning and the victory decline. screens in your face, you gotta be like the jungler fucking sucks. Yeah. Dude, the oh, jungler oh, was so bad. It's so good. <laughs> you should be happy that I Yo, the AD carry carried What's this up, game. There's, there's, there's too much, there's too much pressure to the jungle, dude. Honestly, way oh, too. No, I feel, I feel way you too. Gotta, you gotta please way too many people, man. Listen, dude, you know what I tell I, people, dude. Solo queue junglers love me, dude, because like I watch the early game, all their invades like wicked hard, and I just roam instantly, and they're always yeah, like, wow, listen, that was so quick. <clears throat> like, yeah, I will say, I will say, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got my ball. <laughs> Having Mike as a mid laner makes jungling a lot easier. To yeah, be Mike, honest, like, Mike leans hardest. And here's and here's why I've played with some really good mid laners, but here's the here's the biggest thing. Okay, so I have a certain jungle path that I follow no matter what. If I'm depending on the jungler that I'm playing up against, will my pathing change? But for the most part, my pathing is almost the same every single time. So I can tell Mike, like Mike knows, like depending on my pathing, whether to push or whether to drop back. Because yeah. how I work is if I'm sitting down at my red buff, I'm not going all the way up the top lane just to gank you. I'm going to be looking for mid or bot. Like, I'm not going up to top. You, ha If you're in my path, if I'm on my path and I see your, your lane is able to gank, then I'll gank it. If it's not, like, I'm not going across the map just to, you know, gank your lane. I'm not doing yeah. that. Let's Dude, that's real. good. You never my duo partner was fucking cam for so long and like basically he would have an aneurysm if i wasn't pushed or like it or in like this certain like gankable place so i'm just like all right i'm just gonna watch your path and anytime he would get invaded he's like mike why aren't you there i'm like at my turret with like 70 minions that's what like, i do though fuck out, like yeah. i hate when top lane does that dude oh dude today i played a game and this this riven left lane came to my blue buff and killed me with the nidalee jungle coming at and Pantheon's just sitting up at tower. And then after I die, then he runs down there. So I get into all die, so I get into chat, obviously, because I'm a toxic ass league player. And I'm like, dude, why didn't you come down? Like I, you can literally see your lane leaving and coming to my jungle because I have that river warded. He said, Bro, I was coming. I'm not that fast. I said, dude, this game allows me to watch you. I saw you under turret farming while you're while she came for me. Don't lie to me like that. Like, <laughs> I can see you because League allows me to see that. Oh, oh dude. God. I love just, that just, game yeah. so you, uh, much. You really learn how dumb the general population is when you play League of Legends, too. That's oh, another thing. So bad. Uh, I think I've noticed thing. that a lot more on just like being Honestly, interacting on Twitter with uh, I don't want to. Oh my like, god, dude, it's so bad, dude. And like, some of the people that follow us like are are smart, like. But I I just go through when I search like hashtags and stuff, and I just run into like the most brain dead people of all. Oh time. my god, like IQs of seven. Drive anywhere, and no you'll zero to all of the brain dead people in the world. I'm like, literally drive <laughs> anywhere. I can almost hardly stand driving. For real, because people just fucking cannot go do to it. Walmart. They can't do it. Go to Walmart for real. It. I go to Ohio. What do you? I mean? I rage, bro. I Let's honest go to, Ohio, to God. You just see some dumbass drivers. Rage at the dumbest fucking people. Ohio drivers are the worst. Dude, come Seriously, to New York, they are dude. though. They really come are the Boston worst. New York. I believe that actually. All right, Eric. I have an said Andrew. that eighty carry. Is not what'd you say? Not OP or not that like easy, dude. If you, it's definitely if you, not that easy. If you're playing, bro dude. Bronze, bro if you put me in bronze five right now, I would absolutely be the most powerful person in in the, on that team. When you get up but to like know, high what? silver, it's not. It's not literally bot lane is the hardest lane because you have to depend on someone else. If you get someone that's incompetent in your lane, you can't carry. Bot lane's hard as shit, dude. They just now. They have just now made AD carry what it actually should be. I'm not even going to bot lane in general. I'm just gonna say AD carry because how this game should work. So you not not last patch, but the patch before that, before they came out with the huge jungle patch. Okay. They had jungle and AD carry basically like at the top tier. They had the most control over the game. And then they brought jungle back down and they were like, all right, we're not going to have them be so early game hungry. Like they can't just like farm like four buffs and then get level three and then, you know, come in the to gang top lane because it was really OP. The same way 
80 mm-hmm. carry was really high up too and they had to drop them down that's why they came up with all these nerfs but now you guys have storm razor too and that item is so fucking dumb. 80 carries on, on a that. on a hole though or like what i don't, much I don't even know what it is i've i think i played like one or two games or wait no was that a whole game that or that whole day that we lost all those games in a row 80 carry got a lot of the 80 that. patch nerfs too though like uh through because they nerfed a lot of mid lane champions that were like, high priority picks that were good against assassins so now like so now like picks like zed talon um even like twisted katarina, fate katarina twisted fate aurelian soul like high roamers <laughs> high assassin picks like fizz like those are the that like nerfs ad carries when those are in meta like, yes so like, yeah. so yeah. they really didn't um, even like they really didn't even they nerf, nerf- they did nerf carries, carries. Not that. I'm not, not even talking strength. Dramatic. I'm not talking strength. Of like, like, I'm lane talking phase, just depending on someone phase, else. Lane phase, it's a lot worse now because it takes a lot longer for them to ramp up because of how much gold it takes for them to buy their core items now. Not to mention, like, a lot of the crit items that were available aren't available anymore. They're only available through zeal items now. But their attack damage is well, okay. Zeal item and then like you some infinity. no some like it's it's definitely switched the meta where carries caster ad carries are now like way higher like Jin, uh lucian um zaya uh ezreal Kaisa, ezreal ezreal's ezreal's always been kind of like mid-tier strong but he's mm-hmm. he's definitely stronger but like all the like the the face roll like crit adcs have definitely dropped like quite a bit because it takes so long for them to ramp up it's it's like ridiculous now um but- you watch tyler you watch tyler one rage quit yeah like did you see that yeah i did see that no, I didn't. You didn't see that, Tyler. yo. Freak no, the fuck I do out. Not watch yo, Tyler. Eric, can you play that on stream real quick? Yo, Tyler One's fucking hilarious. How do you not watch Tyler? Oh, dude, that video is actually. He's hilarious. bro. Tyler One's hilarious. Yo, I'll get a video for you, Eric, right now. Hold on. Honestly, he's so damn. You say uh, that because to, uh, you tilt just as hard as Tyler One, bro. bro skip to eight fifty. Never uh, tilt. Oh, no, Aaron is the least tilting. Promise, bro. Level headed as fuck. I've heard him yell quite a bit sometimes. No way. The only time I've ever heard Aaron yell last Dude, weekend. Yo, I'm watching it right now. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron never I'm watching really, the video. Shut up. Really gets mad at me. Put it at nine, uh, 8.50, Eric. That's the part I want to show. That's it. Who did he fuck him with? That's when he freaks out. It sucks. Play the shit. It sucks. Fucking addicted. I agree. So I can't quit. He just loses his level. fucking mind, dude. Tell him, he just goes tell insane. Him. He tell does, though. So. I can't do it, but, like, I'm, I'm assuming, like, that's what it is. It's actually hilarious. Can people hear that, Eric? Yikes. No. He's just watching it. They can hear it. They can see it. Oh. They can't really see it. You're, you're not, you gotta scroll down a little bit. Yeah, scroll scroll down a little bit, Eric. Nobody can is see that. that. I Look will at this Tyler's one's face. Oh, uh, was that IWD? Yeah, see, Tweety, Tweety heard it at least. Ah! The fuck's that? Is that I will dominate? <laughs> yeah, he's blocking him. That's how upset that he was. Right? IWD, he, like, bro. tossed a water bottle on the ground. That's all yeah. he did. <laughs> <laughs> he whipped his headset down. Yeah, Dude, that's, was, not as, that's not as funny as guy. Summit 1G punching his monitor. No, Yo, I like, saw that too, actually. The terrible thing was, like, what he said. He was just like, that shit was funny. I quit! I quit! <laughs> This like, dude I, said, I can't, I'm so addicted. I can't listen, quit. In the middle of the stream, all right, Summit <laughs> just stands up like this, all right? He's playing H1. There's a dude that kills him, all right? And he just stands up like this, real quiet, like just stands up and just full on just like punches, dude. Just yeah, like dude. full swing. Straight. Smacked his monitor and then he got up <laughs> and said, I'm Stop done. It. I'm done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm done. And just logged off. Like that was it. Like that's Damn. all we got, dude. This shit was hilarious. Wait, did I'm you watch it happen live? Yes. yes. That's hilarious. I don't like actually. Because I was watching the H1Z1 tournament that he was like warming up for and everything. <laughs> this dude, like full on, dude, like it wasn't just like a punch. This dude, like swung, man. Like, Haymaker, that up. bitch. Yeah, like straight up. He meant nothing but business with that. Punch. That shit was so funny, dude. Yeah, Shroud and Doc were Shroud and Doc were reacting to it, and the Doc just said, "That's right, hit it, hit it." Bro, Doc don't like. Yeah, the Doc don't like Summit though. He really doesn't. No, they he, they really don't get along because Summit used to play with Shroud all the time, and then once Doc started blowing up, Doc and Shroud like started teaming up and just started streaming like every single day, and they were pulling like. A lot of viewers actually like Doc was getting around like thirty to forty thousand, and 
Shroud is getting up to about like thirty to forty thousand. I mean, still not Ninja right now, but combined they were pretty close. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so then that happened, and then every time that Shroud would play with Summit, Shroud's chat would just flame him. He'd be like, "Bro, why are you playing with this fucking trash ball? Like, get him out of here!" And that was just their whole chat, dude, was just talking shit about Summit being bad at PUBG. Is yeah. he actually bad? I mean, he's just he, what he likes to do is he likes to go to like far out little cities and then come in. So he's only like winning the game with like three or four kills. And like everybody that's sh- seen Shroud knows Getting that this dude like comes 30 out kills. with like, yeah, yeah, like 20 kills consistently in a game. Yeah. This dude's crazy at PUBG. He's easily yeah. the best PUBG player ever. Shroud's nuts. I've watched a lot of Shroud. But that dude's crazy. Yeah. I, he's, I love watching his streams. He's, he, he's ridiculous at the game, dude. He's actually. not like, he's not like like vocally entertaining but his gameplay is like yeah, ridiculously he's, he's entertaining too nasty. he's too nasty at that game honestly he really <laughs> I, mean, is. I mean he i mean he played csgo so that dude is programmed to headshot like yeah immediately That's something i really yeah. need to yeah, work dude, on dude he like yeah we were just talking re- about that the other he, day he legit reacts like a robot dude for real it's crazy he just he also right on, right on he people's also, like he also runs his like his sensitivity on his mouse is ridiculous to where like this dude's like pulling all the way back like to just to like look like he's like this dude's got a huge ass like mouse pad it's oh crazy. yeah it's most, super low most sensitivity. At, like 200 like dpi or 300 dpi and just literally... yeah and then like and then, like point one zero like point zero one in game sensitivity and they're like Doof. Yeah, just like know exactly where they have to be to move their yeah. mouse. Like, that's yeah. crazy. like one so that's, that's exactly what it is yeah, so they know, like, if they want to look to the top right, their mouse has to be, like, over in this corner. Dude, it wouldn't like surprise that. me if people have, like, little markers on, like, the, you know what I mean? Like, on their mouse pad, so they know exactly where they're going to be. Like, <laughs> I've you know turned my, I turned my mouse, not, like, in-game sensitivity, but, like, because I have the Logitech G502, so it's got sensitivity. Oh, that's what DPI I have. Sensi- yeah, so you have the DPI sensitivity buttons on the side. Oh, I run yeah, it the- I turn those off. Uh, I, would, I, I, always, I would always hit them, and yeah. then I would turn up my DPI randomly. And- I did that. Be like my my mouse would just fly into like the next year. Like I'd just be like, "What the fuck?" You can program them to be something else. Like if you're playing Overwatch, you can have like one be push to talk, or the other one be like crouch or something. And then oh yeah, I pro all of them are macros for me. They're completely different macros. But you can change uh, it to be a macro key. Yeah, yeah I have my my, my thumb key. You my have to thumb go key into is like program. Like if I'm playing Siege, uh, bro. My, my, x and v are my front ones so like that's what i use for league is like x and v are like items uh and then you also have like my thumb one is like g for crouch like in siege and shit well i have a 402 sniper button right here yep. too so that's you can change your dpi to Wait, like what mouse do you have i have the logitech g502 i have the that's 402 i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy that like it has counterweights in it too so you can like yeah, weight so it down can... mine has like a bunch of weights in it yeah, you, you can, can like pop right this there. off and put the weights in and everything. It's the best mouse. Like the 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 it's all, actually it's actually the best sensor you can buy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Beard so used it too. Course, <laughs> so this, what is, it's a Corsair. Corsair. Uh, this is this is what I'm rocking with. He's just, just, just got a regular. Is that a death adder? Yeah, it's okay. Is the, de- it wasn't it's the, the death adder right? Yeah, it wasn't the one that I dude. I literally went to purchase another one. I can't even remember the name of it. And okay. walked out of the store with this one in my hand, and was so pissed. That dude G602 literally, he literally handed me the wrong one. Mine's the, the, the 402. Oh, okay. The so the Corsair version. M65 Pro RGB optical gaming mouse is the best first-person shooter mouse out on the market right now. The Logitech G502 is the best all-around mouse. So like, mm-hmm. if you play like MOBAs, RPGs, anything like that, like this mouse is like the best. I've I never had mouse. it. How much does it cost? My mouse. It's it's about Dude, it's 70 like, bucks, but you well, can get it normally, on Amazon. It's normally like eighty dollars, but like Best Buy always always Best Buy and Meyer always has it on sale for like forty dollars. Dude, I'll like, definitely. I, I got mine for fifty. It's it's such a good. I don't mouse, know. Dude. I don't it's know. so amazing. I the second I got it, I was like, "Holy shit, this is amazing!" I want one with more macro keys. Yeah, that's my. That's the only problem that I have is that this this, this thing only has two macro keys. This has uh, on the left side. It has four. Three. Four. Well, it has four. three, and oh, then the five. DPI settings. It has these two right here. These are programmable for me, and then these, these, these. So you actually can change whatever, whatever ones you want. Yeah, you can. But... You can change. You can turn your DPI off if you want. I personally like it on because for league I play on the second one, but for first person I play on the first one. Mm. And then you can change it. But if you want to, if you're like I like it at the basic, you know, DPI setting or whatever, then you can change it to like where your DPI buttons can be like crouch or like talk or something like that. 
my old mouse had a DPI button like right here on the top of it, and it had like four different DPI settings. And it was yeah, weird. you have one right here too. So you have this one, which is like the scroll lock. Oh, dude, dude, when oh, I first got the mouse, sick. I did not know about the scroll lock. Yeah. So I was so pissed. I was like, this fucking wheel sucks. And then like, I would be in game and I would just instantly zoom in on my character super far. <sighs> This Loose button ones. also d changes DPI as well. This one below the scroll. Yeah. You can see like the G changing colors, but yeah. Yeah, dude, I love my mouse. My mouse is I, awesome. I turned off that I turned off that DPI sensor thing because I would constantly ran like I said, I would constantly randomly change like settings like mid game. And you should get a new keyboard before you get a new mouse. Yeah, that's that's the that's what I really need to do is get a new keyboard. K seventy rapid fire, man. My favorite. K seventy rapid fire? Yeah, it's the, it's got the fastest actuation switches or the actuation points and like the lo the smallest Listen, switches. Listen, I don't care what it is. Is it as loud as the one that I own? Uh, I don't know. This is mine. Yeah, mine. Ninja has oh, mine too. Me and Ninja have the same keyboard special. Nah, dude, you should run mine, dude. This is the if you if you plan on playing like. How do you how do you feel about the um? I hate every other keyboard the, besides the, this. I played the uh like the the long bottom like wrist rest thing no i do not like that at all yeah that's yeah that's kind of how i this feel thing. about it yeah i yeah i don't know how i feel about that i can take it off you can take it off oh okay i put it Dude, on there are so many like dpi it. i'm just sitting here messing around with my dpi settings on my mouse there are so many different combinations that you could do this is crazy well my mouse on here is on here for 70 dollars, and i'm glad i did not pay 70 dollars for it eric get your um, cord out of your mouth yo what games uh Nico, what games have you like seen about at like or like excited about for like E3? Okay, here we go. All right, let's just let's just talk about a couple of these. I'm gonna pull up this thing that I've seen. Uh, dude, Anthem. That game looks Anthem amazing. looks dope, bro. bro. Oh my god, that... no, sweetie, have you like, have you heard of Anthem yet? Is it like four player co op? Yeah, it's oh. like the division. No, it's more like it's more like the division. It's like open world, and you can like do other shit with like. But a you can play with people. people. Yeah, you can play with groups yeah, of people. So you can have like your a squad, though, right? Yeah, yeah, you can like do your yeah. missions with squads. It's literally so, like The Division, but like, it needs Destiny. Speaking of The Division, they're supposed to announce The Division to an E3 yes, as well. Dude. I'm oh, really man. fucking excited for that. Dude, so dude, the division. They're, fix they're saying they're going to fix like all the stuff that was wrong with like The Division 1. Dude. Oh, Nico, we got to play that, And The dude. Division that 1 was so, so great. The Division dude, was 1 was really amazing. Good. I loved that story. Okay, synopsis for you guys that don't know what The Division is, okay? Black Friday comes. Little factoid for you. The $20 bill is the most commonly used like currency of like yep. the u.s currency is a 20 dollar bill so what these people did is they took like medicine like they took like a disease and dropped it on the 20 dollar bill and then distributed them in bla on black friday one of the craziest shopping years you know days of the year mm -hmm. so you go through and you start spending all your money everybody contracted this disease and it just started like wiping out new york city like started wiping out like the population so you have to try to like it, this like new york city is just completely just run down so you have to try to like level up do all these missions to like save these people it's an amazing game that story was awesome the only shitty part about that was the dark zone everybody said that like after you finished the story like it kind of just felt like it wasn't that great so like they were saying they need, like, to, they need to definitely add more content to it after right that, I think that's what they're working on with the Division Two. They're gonna make it yeah. so like afterwards, it's like not like GTA Five or, or like, right. Things. Like you beat the storyline, you're just like, okay. I mean, I'm, we can shoot people, but like. So GTA Five has done a lot better than recent. Games. Oh yeah, I mean GTA Five was fucking amazing. Dude, you know what's crazy actually about GTA? Oh, I'm 5? saying with post con was... post game content. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. yeah, like with the bank robbing and stuff, dude. There's like a um, whole community for that. What was crazy about GTA Five? um when i was in los angeles was i was literally driving by things and i was like dude i've fucking been there and they're like in real life and i was like no nah, in gta 5 <laughs> like really like i recognized places like the observatory that i was at in gta 5 and i'd been there i'd literally shot somebody in the face at the fucking observatory like That's hilarious it was so weird. I was like, oh my god, I've seen this place. I've been down this boulevard. Like I've seen all these houses. Like That's nuts. It it's it GTA 5, I didn't realize how close it was to the actual thing. It's immaculate. Like, it actually is LA. It's <clears> insane. <throat> it's really wow. crazy. And LA is huge, by the way. So big. When you're oh. over the observatory, it's just the biggest city I've ever seen in my life. Huh. LA is disgusting. It, it, it looks like a slum, kind of, with, like, a thing in the middle. It's so many houses, so gonna, many people. We're going to live in LA. 
Dude, oh, I can't yeah. wait. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course we are. <laughs> the TV house, dude. All right. All the, well, way out in, all the way out in L.A. And then, dude, then we got the biggest game to be announced at E3, Farming Simulator 19. Oh, <laughs> let's get it. Wait, are you being I'm excited? Let's get yeah, that's it. being announced at E3. Farming Simulator 19? 19, bro. It's oh been going God. strong for a lot of Dude, they're about listen, to announce listen, another listen. Sims, too. I'm going to say this once, and I'm going to say it right now. They need to fucking stop with that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, the Farming Simulator. Are you kidding me? Dude, are, no, actually, I, need to, I, wanna I want to meet the market. That? The people that plays it, yeah, I want, right. I want to meet every single face that plays that game and tell them, <laughs> stop. What? <laughs> why are you doing that? So there's you know, a. Trudy goes, oh my gosh, are you kidding? Yeah, dude, for real, like. <laughs> Bro, Simulator. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> what's going on. Bro, I play farming like... simulator. I oh, shut up, Eric. No, you don't. Hey, do. No, you don't. No, do. he does though. That's the thing is that he oh. really does. Are you kidding you me, dude? Look oh, at, you do. look <laughs> at Eric. Look at him. Oh yeah, he's obviously kind of plays like, er, I play pharmacy. <laughs> oh, I play pharmacy. That's my favorite video game. Oh, yes. The goats are his favorites. If you know what I mean. Oh, I'm so excited for E3 now. I cannot wait for Donkey to put out his. Dude, he said dude. burger yeah. unfollow. Dude, I yeah, love dude. Donkey, man. Dude, you know what's gonna be? So, he's he's so like, funny. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on plane rides all day coming back from uh from Michigan. By the way. Okay, listen. I mean, so when E3, Bethesda's E three announces is, is Sunday, so they're gonna right. be like doing like Fallout seventy six yeah. and all that shit. Dude, all right, I'm so all right, I'm not all leaving. Right. Sorry, Nico, I'm not leaving my chair when Fallout seventy six comes out. I'm literally, Dude, I think... I'm getting Fallout seventy six. I'm sitting in this chair and then not leaving. You better be streaming. <laughs> ever. Ain't you fucking leaving. Be streaming. Not leaving. You yeah, better you be better streaming be. it. I'm gonna be streaming that shit, dude. Oh. oh, oh. I'm gonna be All right, so is I'm gonna a, read off a couple of games that are be at E3, and then we can talk about it. All, All right. right, before before you, okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, go for it. You're good. Okay, so Anthem, uh, Call of Duty, Ye- Black Ops Four. Well, they probably get some more trailers there. The Division Two, uh, Fallout seventy six, Farming Simulator nineteen. Uh, they're gonna be doing some different things for For Honor in Fortnite as well. Uh, it's not obviously it's not announced because. Fortnite but just has a tournament. It's like content announced. It's like content but Fortnite, announced. Probably. But Fortnite's technically still in early access, correct? Yeah. yeah, it's still beta. Okay, so yeah, so there'll probably something be something about Fortnite. Um, hopefully we'll get a date on Kingdom Hearts three, which would be huge. Uh, yeah, um, I can't wait for that. That's I cannot wait, dude. Did you, play Kingdom you guys Hearts play all these games? Dude, Kingdom Hearts one and two came out Our like phenomenal games. Dude, I yeah. yo, I remember like begging my mom. It was like right when I got a PS2 or a, I had a P, yeah, I had a PS2, and I was begged my mom for a Kingdom Hearts one. Dude, I was like six years old, dude. Kingdom Hearts two is a really good story too. Oh I, my god, they're, dude, they're both so good. Yeah, now I'm twenty. I never got into either of them. Kingdom Hearts really? two, the last game. I heard they're really good games. Never played. Them. I was you can like get them. twelve. You can get your you can get an emulator for your like computer. Is that I have Kingdom Hearts, I have Kingdom Hearts 2 yeah, like you can get right Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 on your computer, and it's um, amazing. It's, it's such so an good. amazing story. It's and then, totally like one of the best games ever. Hopefully we'll get a... It's like Disney and Final Fantasy had it's a, a baby. Not really, so though, because Fantasy... it's not like Fantasy... Fan, fa, there's Final Fantasy characters, but it's more of like an action RPG. It's like, yeah, no, uh, I know it's, it's, not, I know it's not the same. I know it's not the same fighting style. I know it's different. But no, it's Kingdom sick. Hearts... Kingdom but it Hearts does have, it does have having... characters from yeah. Final Fantasy. Yeah, it has a couple. Actual characters, though. Like, yeah, it has how, a couple. Where is, supposed to have where Nico? Kingdom Hearts 3 is supposed to be more of a crossover between Final Fantasy and, like, Kingdom Hearts. Like, more than what it already is. I don't understand where the correlation of Disney characters and Final Fantasy characters You just have to play the there game. There isn't. It's just, it's, just Square, it's just Square Inx and Disney, like, yeah. teaming up. It, 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 but there, basically so what it is, what okay. it is, is the but they tried the, the game stories is, really good. The concept of the game basically is there. There are these worlds basically where uh-huh. these characters exist, and so it's like Titus, Waka, Sora, Riku, Kairi, all these character Final Fantasy characters. They all exist on like this this world or whatever. And okay. then one day, the parallel universes of like the Disney like kind of like collide with theirs, and there's like an overarching theme of like darkness and light kind of like clashing together. Okay. And the darkness is like kind of represented by these things called heartless, which are like souls that have lost their heart and they just become an empty shell. And no, and they and they become be these the monsters. Boss and on, they... on, um, I think it'd be the first boss in Kingdom Hearts two, and that's it. And so the 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 heartless steal like your 
girlfriend you're you're the main character is sora and like you go you go after her um after running into donald and goofy <laughs> makes like, sense the, the disney characters and then mm -hmm. like they're searching for the king and like your your quest is like to find them and you go to like all these different disney themed worlds like there's an aladdin world there's like uh there's like a hercules themed world there's like a mulan themed world there's like winnie the pooh like you gotta play shit. it you gotta play it's so amazing game. Fucking it, good. in the first game do you like start on a beach like on this random little island yeah okay, okay mm -hmm. so yeah i beat the i beat the first boss in the first game then and that was it and that's as far as i made it because my uncle has like a motherfuck ton of games Go actually off. like a massive collection of like all types of games so he has that shit and he let me bum it for a sec off topic but i, but I didn't really get into it like i said i be i played through i beat the first boss and then didn't pick it back up yeah, oh, I, love that game. I don't know i don't know that's how I, that's how it goes with me in games a lot of times hey what were you saying i was just gonna say off topic af um somehow some way i know aaron mentioned this before but like sometime in the future if we're all in the same house we should try to get a fifth c to stream in between which between like me and then i think that'd be really cool to stream on our channel hell yeah it would be, that'd be dope. like we all playing like say we're all playing league and like literally turn it into like a like a like a like a like show a, like a show yeah yeah like a show we like we stream oh, switches between us the scenes are oh, us like, oh yeah. okay and then it just yeah. switches. like we, like nico gets up and then i yep. oh, okay and then i sit down yeah. that's really it's like someone's obviously switching scenes or can you dude would you would we be able to like set that up to a timer even or somehow you know what well, i mean to where I would, like that's too complicated switch. i wouldn't be able to do that dude mm. <laughs> just i don't know just an idea but so, yeah wouldn't that be sick idea. though that'd be so yeah. dope he says that's pretty dope. Yeah, that is that, that is a good idea. So I, like I just idea. so I just noticed this is person. from this is from IGN as well. So Eric, I just I just noticed let Nico talk. that the division two, um, Kingdom Hearts three and The Last of Us, they're all they're all confirmed E three games. Then there's rumored E three games. So yeah. like, so Kingdom Hearts three will be announced and then so will Division Two, um Rage Two, ro the yeah. new Roller Coaster Tycoon for the Nintendo Switch, the new Spider Man, which is gonna dude, be they're coming out with a stuff. Smash Bros for the Nintendo Switch. Too. Yeah, yeah, you the know? new one, and I think that they're gonna announce uh, Waluigi as like one of like the characters in Super Smash Bros. Who? So. Waluigi. Wa wa what Waluigi. Is his name? Yeah, Waluigi. Little, yeah, Waluigi. Yeah, Waluigi. The like purple dude. The, the yeah. purple like long guy. <laughs> yeah, that dude. Guess who has a Switch and is gonna get that game? You should, and then let yeah. me play it. It's okay. <laughs> You know, yeah, so then you know who Spider smashes Aaron Spider and smash? Eric. Dude, I've been hearing about that Spider-Man game for so long. I guarantee it's going to, like, blow Wiener. It looks really good, but... I don't know, dude. The original Spider-Man game is pretty dope. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, some of them were, like, really, really good. I only remember There's somebody that's buildings. in charge of it. There's somebody in charge of it that's actually, like, I'm... a really good game developer. Who I fucking like... wish I had a PS4, man. I want a PS4 so bad. You don't like, want one that bad. Black Ops 4. I do... I do, but I'm not gonna buy one. Black Ops Four. Nope. nope. Dude, Black Ops. All right, Black Ops Four is cool, but we've been talking about Black Ops Four for so long. It's like, oh, I'm yeah, getting Black Ops Four. There's no question. Yeah, like, but I remember, dude, there's too many games. What about Red Dead Redemption Two? Fuck yeah. Red Dead Redemption Two Damn would be it. pretty cool. Uh, oh, game industry, take my money. Fuck. So for the real, developer dude. for the Spider-Man game is Insomniac. So you can best believe that's gonna be a really good ass game. Insomniac does a really good job at making games. They did so Days good. Gone. They they did The Last of Us. They did the original Red Dead Redemption. Yo, The Last did of they? Us Two looks. Right. Did you ever play The Last of Us? That okay. So here's my here's my opinion on The Last of Us. Okay, story wise, oh, amazing. amazing game. Fucking amazing. Now mechanic wise, fucking trash. Oh, right, just like here's kid. why. Here's it's why like, okay. it's like saying Detroit become human was like you know like like mechanic and gameplay wise was like crazy but like it was really just like the story and just like choice that okay. was like cool about it. So here's all right. So here's what I'm saying. All right. So you're in this building, okay? Because it finally gets to this point where like zombies aren't the only thing that you're like trying to you know fight against. You're also yeah, trying to fight against gangs and shit like that. So you get into this building. All right, and I almost, I literally almost put my controller down at this point and never played it again, but I was so invested into the story that I had to keep playing. So you get into this building, 
and you're on like the second floor and you have like an AK and a shotgun and a pistol, you get, you're like loaded out. Like these aren't like just like you got a little stick and everything. You're trying to, you know, you get like weapons. I'm on the second floor and you can like somehow access this like sneaky, you know, gray screen where you can like see people moving. You can see if they like, they can, you know, draw your attention or whatever. Like you can see if they know that you're there. Mm hmm. So you'll be sitting there in this building and you'll pop off with this AK like on the second floor, you know, <clears throat> loud as hell. And then you hit that gray thing and the dude standing literally right above on the stairs didn't hear a single thing. And then you walk up the stairs and then as soon as you touch the stairs, they're like, what is that? And then like come charging <laughs> at you and everything. And you're just like, come on, dude. Like you didn't hear me blasting a foot down, but you could hear me, you know, because I touched my foot on the stair. Like, I was like, yeah, all right, dude. Yeah, a lot of games can be, like, janky like that. I mean, a lot of it was, like, dude, the graphics for that game and, like, the story were just so... The story was amazing, it was but so the mechanics good. to it, I hope they fix that. You guys play so many fun. games, bro. I literally play one game for a long time. I like to no, play I've, a lot of story I mode played games. games. I've, I've never played, played, played yeah, a story like, mode a game. I've done games. Like, I've played all... Like, I'm really excited for, um, uh, what's it called? The, the new Tomb Raider game? Yep. I played I played both the Tomb Raiders, uh, Tomb uh, Tomb Raider and Rise of Tomb Raider. See, that's another thing is I wish that like I wish the gaming community, and I'm not saying like the community like as in us. I'm saying like, community as in like Rockstar, EA, you know, all these mm. different companies that make video games. I wish that they would focus on making great ass story games like they did before. Because oh, I know I didn't play the Division for the Dark Zone. I didn't play it for the PvP. Shadow action. of the Tomb Raider. That's what it's. Called. I played the Division for the story mode. Yep. The Same. last I, I, was, dude, I didn't play, I play for any other for. reason. I played for the story mode. GTA, I didn't play for any online reason. I literally played for the story mode. Oh, yeah. I played the story mode for GTA, and like then I just kind of I, I played I a little bit of I was kind of like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I'm yeah. good on that. Afterwards, like, dude, I was like, I just don't think there's a market for those games. You know what I mean? People just dude, are. I wish. People I just are. Literally 2% of the people played the like, Call of Duty Nico, campaign. Like, if, if anything, yeah. like, really? that 2%. Me and Nico definitely play for like story games. Yeah, it's definitely like that's why like I like that's why I like like um. I want a game that I, I can play for an extended Switch. period of time. But you for can what? you play the you story can. mode on the you play story mode on regular, then you play it on hard. Yeah, then but that can only go so far. Not if you're getting the right games. That's yeah. the thing. So you get like a game like let's say you get a Nintendo Switch. Let's say you get a game like you know, Super Mario Odyssey open world. Dope and shit. it has different things that you can do. You play it on regular. Then you play it on veteran. You know, it's different. It's a different game, even though the story is still there. Like, Super Mario 64, my favorite game of all time. Not because of the graphics, not because there was PvP, but because there was a great-ass story, and it was really, really fun to play. And, like, I played that game so many times. If you handed me a Nintendo 64 and was like, hey, yo, I got Super Mario for you. You want to play it? I'm like, all right, I'm sitting here for another two weeks and not moving. Like, bro, I'm you know what was really fun game. on uh, one of the Mario games was Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. Oh, that, that game was fun. That, the, it had a red cover. I just remember. Yeah, super that fun. Game was really fun. Super Shit. fun. Yeah, yeah I played, and that's why I've I've, actually, now I'm thinking about it. I played so many games. Yeah, I played a lot of games, but mostly I played like honestly. I played I enough really games. I played games to it. count on this both my hands. <laughs> I really didn't get into like online gaming until. Black Ops One. That's when I really got into ga online gaming. Other Black Ops that, One like, was a gem. Yeah, I got Looking into back. online gaming probably around like Call of Duty like, Four. Black but, Ops One was yeah. fun. I didn't, wasn't really into it until like Black Ops One. Black Ops One was like probably like one of my favorite online games of all time. I, we ripped Black Ops One. Well, Modern Warfare Modern Warfare Two. I went hard, bro. I uh, played, we, we I, played I played. I played. I played campaign because I didn't like. I knew what Wi Fi was, but I really didn't like know what like wi-fi was like i didn't know how to like get Same. online gaming i didn't like know how to like start this shit up or anything i was like all right dude i'm gonna play campaign and then me and my little brother or me and my older brother would just like go on to rust and just 1v1 each other and like try to level up that way and like and it was cool like it, i had a blast and then black ops 1 came and i was like all right i'm trying to figure out how online like works like you, let's go you don't know the pain until you don't have a you have the oldest white xbox 360 no adapter built into it and you have to run a fucking 50 foot ethernet cable throughout your house just to like connect to it like my mom was like tripping over it all the time she's like take this shit down 
See, that's why I never wanted to get an Xbox 360. I started it off well, that and I didn't like the Red Ring of Death either. I didn't oh, like that. Oh, that happened because Xbox 360 I, was I so well. much better than PS3. Oh, PS4 is so by much far better, better than Xbox. How much did you pay? How much did you pay for online for Xbox 360? Doesn't matter, dude. Uh, it was like how many times did PS3 get hacked? How? how many times did PSN get hacked? Once. Like, yeah, there was once. one time that it got hacked. That's it. I don't even really remember bad. how much I paid for a lot of money. How much? The was... only. The yeah, There's you sixty dollars paid... a year for Xbox. Sixty dollars a year. You know how much Damn, I paid? Yeah, that's zero dollars. Yeah, but you got Almost hacked, and now and now you have to pay for it. Yeah, so. now we do because PS4 is the dominant like server. Xbox the was the user. dominant user too. Not yes, it was, bro. Yeah, it was. It absolutely. At the time, at the time, Xbox and PS3, it was basically whatever your friends had. That's basically what it had, was. Now people yeah, all don't my friends really had care Xbox. about playing. Yeah, all look my friends you. had PS. Well, now that and my first my first gaming system, other than like I think I had like the GameCube at one point, but I didn't play it that much until like I got a PS1. Once I got a PS1, then I got into like older games. PlayStation One was my first gaming system. Then I obviously I went to PS2, one. and my, then I went my... to PS3. But I was going to get an Xbox. At the time, I was going to get an Xbox. And then I was like, Red Ring of Death, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to have to deal with all this shitty problems. So, like, I just got a PS3. And PS3 was awesome. I still play my PS3. I grew up super poor. So, like, I didn't have a gaming system until the PS2, I think. And, like, that. Like, oh, I, my I didn't even, I didn't, my mom didn't even buy that for me. Like, I, my mom's boyfriend, like, had it, got it for free, and was like, you can just have this. I don't play it that much. I got a, I got a PS2 for Christmas one year, and that was my I still have that. System. My first, I, have, my I PS2. still have a PS2. My first system was the Xbox 20. I still have my first Xbox PS2 20. as well. Xbox 720, whatever it was. I had... Wait, what the... Yeah, what? what are you even talking about? The regular Xbox, that's what it's actually called. I thought it... You mean the Xbox 360? No. The original you, Xbox. Xbox. Oh, the Xbox one. Xbox He's talking about the, dude. The, the Elite. He's talking yeah. about the original black Xbox. The Elite? Oh, bro. There was an Xbox before the 360. It yeah, was this a, was oh, an Xbox. Oh, was just the Xbox. original. Yeah, it was just an Xbox. I think it was called the Xbox 20. Wasn't no, it was no, just it was called just an just Xbox. 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 Yeah, it was just... now I'm looking at it right now. It was it's literally just called, just called Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> literally had a giant one. green X across it, and that's yeah. all it was. The Xbox. Dude, I used my little me and my little brother used to. Okay, well, technically at my dad's house, uh, we had an Xbox, but that was basically like my brother's game system. We I used to just beat the shit out of my little brother in Halo all the time. Like, we'd be playing you're a campaign, about... and I'd just, like, kill him with a gravity hammer, and he'd be like, what the fuck, man? Bro, Nico, you never played Halo, either. No, I d actually, I have played Halo. Oh, that's I what, that's what set Xbox apart, was Halo. I mean, uh, so is this the Xbox you were talking about, Eric? Yes. Dude, you said you wanted to get yeah, a Switch. What, what, game, what game are you are you looking for the Switch? Oh, for, uh, I'm going to say Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I Game want sick. Legend of Zelda, the Bre Game Breath of the Wild. And then <laughs> I want the new Super Smash Bros. Yep. And then also Metroid Prime 4 is a rumored E3 thing that I really am looking forward to. Um, and then Stardew also... Valley is really good. Stardew Valley is really good for the Switch. Yeah, I heard that was pretty good as well. And then they're supposed to be coming out with the second one too, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. I, I don't. I don't think that Switch has the uh, multiplayer update yet, but uh, Stardew Valley for PC is like totally co-op. I want Adventure Time for Nintendo Switch too. It's, Dude, I... it's a confirmed game this this year for E3. Aaron, you know what we should do? What should Dude, we do? No, what actually? Since all of you are gonna be here, we should live stream a ping pong tournament. Let's do it, dude. I'd, oh, I'd that'd be sick, actually. actually. All you I'd fucks all lose. You I, I just keep I looking at that ping pong table. You guys took, get shit on I by your boy. I took AP ping pong in high school, also known as AP physics with Mr. Christensen. You go, I will shit on matter. you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit down your throat in ping pong. I'm gonna put my paddle. I'm gonna put my paddle up your ass sideways. Listen, and then Mike, I, and you then I'd literally play? turn around and beat you with the paddle sticking out of my ass. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron beat Jordan with a pen. I'm with a pen hand, a hand. real game beat jordan what? real life with a pen it's true story i was there yeah, I'm, I'm i'm ass at ping pong well actually i'm not i'm not bad i can beat like the average my friends we would always play ping pong and they would beat the shit Dude, me and aaron used to go hard we, until we like four in the morning hard as 
fuck. We you we would legit we would legit get off of school and go practice ping pong down in Jordan's basement. Like we were committed. You oh, beat him a, with. A, remember how bad I was, Aaron? Ten in my hand. Aaron, you remember yeah, how bad battle. I was? Yeah, I yeah you were terrible <laughs> at first, and then you were, the, you were the only person that could compete with me, for real. Dude, you were the, you were the worst, oh. and then the only one that could play with me. Oh, Tweety is actually good. There was a there was a while he, there towards the end where I beat you more than you. I would me. shit on Tweety and Dude. Ping Pong on a real All note. Right. Tweety, oh, you'd get shit on, bro. Amazing. Dude, I'm so excited for E3. That's now, a good idea now. Dude, I'm actually games. so excited for you, dude. All right, Nico. Like, we gotta get, dude. There's so many games we have. More excited for the ping pong Division, tournament. Division I, two, I, Kingdom Division Hearts two. three, Kingdom Hearts three, dude. Anthem. The Last of Us Part two. The Anthem. Last of Us Part two, dude. Red Dead Redemption two. I don't like Red Dead Redemption. All right, well, I'm gonna have to Bro, try that. Out. Fallout 76, dude. Nico, we have to, dude. All right, to answer your question, by the way, Aaron, it's speculated that Fallout 76 is gonna be, um, basically the premise is what Fallout 76 was was a vault that like after 20 years they were going to repopulate the wasteland okay and so like they speculate that like the since the vault is empty in the beginning um that uh, you're going to be going out into like this world where you're going to be able to like play co-op like with a squad of people that's like part of your fucking vault and like you and your homies can just explore the the Wait. the wasteland hold on a second fallout 76 is going to be co-op I think so. That they speculate that they like. Well, uh, what's it called? Uh, Bethesda, I think, leaked that it's going to be an online like co-op game. Wow. Like, yeah. Okay. So it's it's well, gonna be it's gonna be fucking sick. Oh, dude. Yeah. And Bethesda's supposed to release uh shit about Starfield too. What is that? I've never. Which is basically like all out in space, dude. What? Yeah, it's it's their space RPG. Dude. Hold on, I, I it's gonna be like Skyrim. Skyrim. What's it called again? And Starfield. Yes, yeah, Starfield, dude. That is gonna be insane, dude. Oh my god, I can't wait for E3, dude. Oh, Yo, Tweety, wow. that looks Tweety, that looks sick as fuck. I would so be about that. That actually looks really cool. It's a sixty-four land party, dude. That what is, is that? so cool. Let me see it. It's in the general tra- chat for TBV. That's really cool. I like that tweet. That's really dope. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, that's insane. I'd be so Dude, about what that. What the fuck? This game looks sick. What? The Starfield. Oh, I know. Dude, you gotta hear the Starfield rumor. Starfield is it's gonna be insane, dude. I completely forgot about that, actually. Dude, we're gonna spend so much money on video games this year. I what know, the dude. Fuck, and Black Ops bro. 4, Nico. We forgot about Black Ops 4. <laughs> That's Wait, you said another Starfield? 60 bucks. Yeah, Starfield. Starfield isn't on the confirmed E3. It's game, not. It's it's it. There. It's speculated. Like that you probably gotta upgrade for Black one. Ops. Yeah, you oh, probably. No, I'm 100. No, I'm definitely 100 gonna be upgrading. I'm not gonna be able to play Anthem on this computer. I'm gonna be getting a 1070 uh, for the for Black Ops. I'm gonna get. A, I'm probably gonna upgrade to a 1080 Ti, I think, and then. Yeah. Uh, well, I already have a 1050 Ti. Just get a right Titan, now. Mike. Now I gotta upgrade. Yeah, I I, I don't want a Titan. I, that's ridiculous. I don't think I need a Titan. I'm trying to build <laughs> dude, like a 1070 rocket. Really dude. The confirmed E3 games are amazing, but the so speculated dude, the speculated ones are even insane, dude. So E3 you got is gonna be this year's gonna be like one of the biggest years for gaming. Dude, I, I if Dragon. It. If Dragon Quest comes out with a new game, I'm definitely getting that. Dragon Quest was an amazing. Oh my gosh! Then Final Fantasy. What games are you excited remake. about for E3? Final I, Fantasy VII like remake. The new Marvel's Avengers project game. What? What is that? Ori. Be? Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Another one? They're coming out with yeah, another one? Yes. Oh, Ori and the dude. Blind Forest was amazing. All right, and then. Then Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and then Yoshi yes, for Nintendo Switch. That's games. another one that I'm really excited Dude, for. Metroid Prime games. 4, Metro Exodus is supposed to be coming out. Lego DC Villains. Dude, there's oh, way too many games, man. Days Gone. Oh, Bro. Gears of War 5. Oh, wait, what? They're coming out with Gears of War 5? Bro, these are just rumored oh. ones. I'm so excited. Bro, these Dude, these are the I'm predicted. Not. My wallet is already feeling the pain these are the predicted requirements we, why for why don't we go to e th- why didn't we go to e3 oh <coughs> my gosh dude i'd cream myself i5 6600k 3.5 gigahertz ryzen 5 1600x force 1060 6 gigs of vram 12 gigabytes of regular RAM. 
Was that what that kid was freaking out about? Predicted requirements. Anthem. Oh. What it, what is it? Read it again, please. It's a 6600K i5, 3.4 gigahertz, 1060 with six gigs of not the not the three gig, ten six gig, and 12 gigabytes of um. RAM. 100 gigs of storage. Well, well, I'll be able to play that game. I'm pretty sure the GTX 1050 XTI actually came out at 1060. No, I'm going to get a 1080 TI. Um, I, I uh, highly, uh, highly, uh, highly doubt that it's better than the 1066 gig. I can't believe I spent $300 what? just on my graphics card. The 1080? No, the ten, he's saying the 1050 XTI is... I'm not saying that he's saying that, but he was wondering whether it's better than the yeah, 1066 4, gig. Right, no, no, no. Not, not that it's, it's better, better, but I'm pretty sure that the 1050 Ti came after. Oh yeah, it, the Ti's always do. Yeah, they always do because they could make a 1060 Ti and a 1070 Ti. They just choose not to because it hurts. Coming out. Soon, I don't know. Probably oh within the next God, few months. Dude, it is so hot in my room actually right now. Take your shirt off, dude. When the 11s come out, the 10s are gonna drop like crazy yes. in price. Yeah. Yes. Please. I'm gonna get a 1070s. Well, I'm gonna, I want to get it. I want. She probably so is. To, I'm gonna upgrade to either the Ryzen seven. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go Ryzen seven. Bro, I love my Ryzen. I need. I need a Ryzen just because, like, every time I go to stream or do anything, I'm. Dude, yeah, I want to play. I, like I want to play like all these new games, and I know for a fact I'm gonna need like a really good CPU. So I'm gonna upgrade my motherboard. I'm gonna get more RAM. Uh, and I have I'm to get a whole new computer, Mike. Graphics. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna, gonna have to buy a whole new computer, which is gonna suck. Oh Put it into the God. case. That's what I had to do. Suck. Big old sack. Dude. Gonna blow. My nuts are sticking bit. to my legs. Can I see them? <laughs> it is so hot. That's the best way to like let them know how Stick hot it is. Stick them to my hand. If we can get it, the crypto guys will buy them out. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm upset about is the oh, fact that like shit. I'm hoping like when the eleven series oh. drops that the tens will go on sale, which they Yeah, should. but then the crypto guys will start grabbing the tens. Oh my god, it is so yeah. hot in here. But I mean they're because the price per performance will be lower or what higher you, on the What 10. do you mean the crypto guys? What are you talking People about? People that mine crypto mining Bitcoin and stuff. That's why that's why graphics cards are so expensive right now because crypto Feel mining is such a big fad. Like in the past year, if you look at they like literally the price, use like twenty graphics cards to mine currency on the internet. That's that's the, I, like I don't understand. Correct me, correct me like, if I'm wrong, Tweety. But I'm the graphic sure, the I'm, graphics card solves sure, algorithms. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tweety, correct me if I'm wrong, but like I'm pretty sure like the way like it works is like they set up like these fucking supercomputers with like twenty graphics don't cards that literally just run these like programs that just like compute screen. algorithms like all day and then. You get like currency based on how long you allow these programs to run these algorithms, hmm. because they're basically using your computer as like a port, basically to 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 do whatever the fuck they want to do, like data mine or whatever, and then they give you cryptocurrency. That's as what as what I've learned at least. That's All right, weird. there you go. Yep, Tweety said true. Tweety does this. Okay. Tweety knows what's up. Tweety does it. But uh, yeah, do you want to uh, close this out? We've been live for about like an hour and twenty. No, uh, we've been not live even for about an hour been, and ten. Been live for about an hour. Oh really? really? No we started twenty minutes late. The internet was fucked. No yeah, I know. Way. I didn't realize it took twenty what? minutes. Oh, all right. Well, whatever. I mean, honestly, I hour and seven E3 minutes. All fucking, hour and seven minutes. Talk, I could honestly talk about E three all day, to be honest. Like, bro, I. I I want to oh stop god. talking about it because I don't want to spend as much money as I'm going to be spending. Oh my year. god, dude, I'm just, take my money, dude. I'm going to be spending so much money. Yeah, Mike? It's, it's uh, not going to be okay. It's Bro, be so but bad. if Fallout really is multiplayer... Dude, Aaron, yo, I, that's the, mo that's the most excited that I'm uh, excited Dunzo. for for a game right now, to be honest. Done, so. For real, at the end of this website, so I went to IGN.com. To like look up like the schedule and everything like what games were like rumored and confirmed and at the very very bottom if you scroll all the way down it just says terrible things everyone forgets yoda has done like that's the next article that you can start about yoda yeah terrible things everyone forgets yoda has done like, Yo, did you hear about that uh did you hear about that girl that um that literally quit social media the asian girl from the last jedi i forgot her name I feel like it's so bad that I don't know her name, and I'm oh because of sexual harassment. No, yeah, I just, I saw yeah. That. 
Yeah, it was it was because Kelly it was Marie because people... uh, Kelly Marie Tran. Yep, after that's reported it. online harassment. It, no, it's not even sexual harassment. It was literally just people being like, "Oh, she was such a useless character on her Instagram post. Like, kill yourself. Like, all that shit." Exactly. I really liked her character in Star Wars, to be honest. Yeah, dude, honestly, man, people shit on the Last Jedi, and I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of flat. Um, she there plays was some Rose. really shitty parts, but oh. where like Leia like fell out into the ship, and it was like, "Oh, this is a great place for her to like kill herself off." All right, that's cool. I mean, that's this is this seems all right, and then she comes back onto the ship, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Uh, like honestly, I kind of. Like I haven't that. seen that movie, asshole. Oh, the right, only I thing that I didn't like You're about never the last Jedi I is when I'm Rose, when like Finn is like dedicated to like he's like I'm gonna keep it going, like I'm gonna run it down, like I'm gonna try to blow. This I'm thing running up. it down mid. Dude. I was just about to say Rose that. Just Same. comes in and just boom, just fucking smacks him out of the way. Like fuck you. Like, come yeah, on. Uh, that that movie was upsetting at some parts, but as a whole, I think it was pretty. Uh, I I I thought it was. See, this is my thing about movies too. Is like people will be like, "Oh, this movie sucks!" Like when they see it in theaters, and it's like, dude, like, did you have a good time? Were you entertained for two hours, or were you just sitting there like, "I fucking hate this." Meh. I really like two hours. I really liked when Luke, dude, when he like, this is when you know that you just got busted, bro. When he hits you with the, see you around, kid. Oh, dude, that was sick. It looked like he was just like dodging all the bullets and shit. And I was like, yo, what is going on? And he, he was, was like, fire. And they just like all just like, beep, 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 beep. like all I could all think of. All I could think of was that song goes. Dun, 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 dun. You know what song I'm talking about when he's getting shot? Yeah. Just like organs playing. That's all I could think of when I saw him getting shot like that. I'm weak. Oh my god! Yeah, that was uh, it was it was pretty good. Now I'm thinking about it. I've only seen it once, so I mean, I probably kind of want to watch it again. Maybe I'll change my mind, which I don't really want to. All right. <clears throat> so we closing yeah. out, keeping it going. What are we doing? I mean, I can sit here got, and talk about E3. I could honestly talk about E3 for like twelve years because, yeah. but like. There's so much – like, I was watching so many videos on, like, Anthem. Like, I'm really excited for Anthem. I'm really I'm excited for The Division 2. Dude, Division two, I don't I'm, know, man. I'm, now, I'm really excited for Division 2. Really. I'm All I had to do is say co-op like a Fallout. Now that's literally the only thing on my brain. Like, yeah, I'm not a really big Fallout fan. After Fallout New Vegas, I kind of just got, like, done with Fallout. Dude, Fallout is so fun, bro. Fallout New Vegas was amazing. Fallout, Fallout, I I didn't get into it. I bought the first. I bought Fallout Three, and that was my first Fallout. And dude, it, Fallout Three was amazing, right? It was. It was really? really sweet, but it was super hard for me for some reason. Oh, same. Like super hard for me for some reason. Like I almost couldn't figure it out. When did you for, get it? Right when it came out? Yeah, I'm shortly. I saw ten thousand people yeah, streaming like, yeah, Fallout Two today. That's what. That's what I. That's what I. Uh, like that's what happened to me. Like I, I got it right when I came out, and it was like so hard, and I was like, "What the dude, fuck? Dude, this sucks." Like and I didn't I... know if it was because I'd never played another Fallout before. Like I that was my first Fallout too. It was really hard. And then another thing that I was doing was like not using my power suit like at all, like at oh, yeah. all, because I was like, "Dude, I don't want to waste the fucking the cores or whatever that you do." I didn't like know how many of those I was gonna be getting, so I was like dying over and over and over and over and over again at the beginning of the game and having a not so fun time yeah, yeah. It, like the game itself is super sick though like super oh, dude, the story mode but, was amazing do you remember, do you remember but, the story mode for that no dude i didn't get far in that game really at all i think i played it for like maybe five hours i love how you, you have know. a bag of ruffles right now <laughs> i need to go topic af these are the best chips ever the cheddar sour cream are the False. best False. Can you guys hear me? Lays. Can you guys hear me chewing though? No, no, no. Hey, yo, if you like baked barbecue lays, you need to try the Cape Cod mesquite barbecue. Oh, oh, so good. Baked barbecue lays are the shit. I just haven't eaten anything all day. I was streaming. I'm, yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I mean, actually need to I'm eat. I'm kind of. I'm kind of. I'm pretty tired to be honest, and I'm hungry. Why don't you go close this out, Mike? What you want me to close yeah. this out? Oh, okay. All right. Um. Mm, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like asking someone to make you, prayer. You can't, you can't. You can't put them on the spot. All right, guys. I gather have a reason. Round, let's hold hands. Gather round, hold hands, bow your heads. <laughs> In the Lord's prayer. <laughs> we leave this stream. Amen. Um, God Mike, bless <laughs> us. Let them know what we're doing with the whole Facebook thing. Let them know oh. about that. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of exciting Should things we? we're planning Should on we? doing. Should we? Not. I mean, yeah, so a, they can go and follow us if we if we start. I haven't I haven't really like put anything like interesting on Not there really yet. yet. So I mean, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably drop that next week or this weekend. Wink. Uh, Eric, should I tell them about like the thing? No. We no. Should, we should definitely get at least. I mean, we don't. I'm pretty sure it's only anything. Tweety in here. Yeah, it's only Tweety. I mean, Tweety's gonna know anyway. It's and Commander Root. Yeah, we're all right. You know what? Fuck you. I, I'm gonna go against what you're saying. Kay. We're gonna have we're gonna. We're going to have a stream this weekend, Tweety, uh, and it's going to be a surprise stream. Exactly what's going on in the stream, I'm not going to tell you because it will ruin the surprise, but it will uh, it will get it will get hype. So it's going to um, be hypey as shit. You're, you're going to be you're, you're going to be literally you're literally not even going to be ready for it. You're going to yeah, have no your idea. Mind is, your mind's going to be here you. and then it's going to be over here. Wait, are we talking about what I think we're talking about? Yeah, we're talking about what what you like think this weekend? Yeah. Pretty sure oh, Tweety already knows this. about that. Does Tweety already know about it? I don't know. I don't think I don't think it. Mike is talking about the Tweety. Same thing. Do you know? Do you know what's happening this uh, this weekend? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the 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 cast because we're gonna be record. We're gonna be having a live recording. Oh. This weekend. And that's gonna be a surprise. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a recording this weekend. Um, which it's gonna be like a secondary podcast along with the one we're gonna be having too. Are we gonna be doing another one Tuesday as well? Uh, Hold on, wait, 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 wait. It's probably a good idea to decide right now. If we're gonna do it. So, I mean, oh, I, don't, I know, I know, we'll keep in touch with Tweety in the meantime. But just so he like kind we're of well, just we're on social. social. True. Well, yeah, we're uh, Tweety. You follow us on Twitter, like anything. He's in our I, Discord. I'm, He'll definitely see what we have to say. I'm 100 percent active on Twitter every single day. So like, if anything changes or what we do anything, you'll know about it. But uh, yeah. So basically, uh, that's gonna do it for today. Um, this episode of TVD, uh, Tweety, we <laughs> we appreciate you being in here, man. We do, we man. Had a lot. We had a lot of people earlier, but I mean, the technical difficulties kind of wiped out any possibility of that. So yeah, that was, uh, that was mostly our fault or internet fault. But uh, yeah, that was yeah. I thought fault you were about to say my fault. It literally just crashed as soon as we went to hit the start button. Gone. Nothing. Um, but yeah, Tweety, we really appreciate you, man, coming in here and staying with us like all the time uh it's uh very humbled that you actually want to listen to our shit because like, sure, sometimes i think that it's not really that interesting and then i'm like well you know some people love well, it so we gotta well, keep tweeties here so, yeah, so we it must be it, it must be man. we gotta yeah. bring our shit this week exactly but, uh, yeah i'm not really gonna even plug anything else because obviously you know like it doesn't really matter like just yep yeah. thank you tweety thank you for being here thank you for being a loyal viewer man we're gonna be here we're gonna be here this weekend again uh exactly what time you'll know within a, a day in advance and also we will be back next tuesday True. so with with hopefully a content creator which we will be trying to get we're trying to we're trying to we're trying to do like a like a chill podcast i might have Our one goal, i guess is chill podcast every other week and then like a content creator on the opposite week so like it's just like content creator on twitch uh interview uh, and then like just like a topic that we deem we can talk about so that way like it kind of mixes up so it's not just like one dimensional but yeah. yeah so yeah uh we appreciate you coming in man um tell your friends and uh let's keep take it, it sleazy <laughs> <laughs>